we are celebrating one year of April Foods today. Um, even though I'm taking a small break from GTA right now, um, we can still reminisce in the year of GTA that has been kind of crazy. Just been a, um, just a journey. Um, prior to this, by the way, prior to like joining the server, uh, I had no desire. Like, I, I really didn't want to play at all. Uh, 2.0, I was asked to play, and um, I think I was watching and I heard about the like kind of a lot of people playing on it. I was watching Ashlyn play Brenda, the receptionist. I watched Eugene play Vader and um, Pokey play a little bit, but I didn't have any interest in joining at all. Like zero, nada, nilch. It just seemed very out of my comfort zone and something that like, why would I, I don't know. It just seemed like something I wouldn't, it doesn't, it just seemed hard and scary. And like, why would I want to do that? I don't know. So I didn't even think about it. And it wasn't until Saikuno and Ray like gave it a shot in 3.0 Garrett, well, first of all, Rust was the big, like, deciding thing for me um, in terms of, like, Rust made me realize how much I like going around and meeting random people. So Rust was sort of like a taste of GTA, if that makes sense. Like, for any of those who watched the main Rust, that first Rust server, it was the first time I had ever interacted with so many new people, like, walking around just meeting new Happy people, and it was giving me, like, a taste of, like, it was the origin of RP, the exactly, and, like, without that first Rust server that Abe and John set up, and that, that whole thing becoming, that whole Rust boom, I would never have even considered the idea of, like, joining a bigger Ooh. server of just, like, random people and streamers, Love you, Leslie, less than you know, three. it became the, it became, like, I guess, yeah, the fire, fire Foosley's Fantastic Fireworks, the whole thing with Officer Space Boy. Um, getting to play with, like, that's when I played with, like, Hassan and uh, Ray C. I met him there. H. June. I, miss, I met so many people through that first Rust server that I don't... And I, and I was so excited about making new friends that that was that f my first taste of it. So then when Garrett messaged me after Rust ended, asking if I wanted to play in 3.0, my first idea was, like, no. Like, I, no Pixel, GTA 2. Like, I don't know what that's... I can't role play. Like, you know, that's too intense for me. But then the idea was, like, planted in my mind from Rust. Like, it did sound... It was, I was more open to it before... Than before. And then Sekuno gave it a shot. And I was like, oh... I had, like, okay, that sounds fun. And then Ray giving it a shot, seeing how much fun they both had on their first days. And I was like, okay, if, if Sakuna and Ray both, like, have are having a good time, I'll give it a shot, too. And so then that led me to one year ago today, which was what is the VOD we're watching. Rust was the perfect bridge for streamers and viewers into NoPixel. Exactly. It really was. It just, like, it really, that, like, I could still... I don't have to role play or like the, I think it's the idea of role playing. That's very uncomfortable for a lot of people. Right. It's like, uh, can be seen as cringy or like weird, like, Oh, you're role playing a whole different person. And it's, it's like more effort. Uh, I think it's always easier to just sit back and like play a game like league of legends or Valorant or something. Right. You're just playing the game. Um, whereas something like role playing takes a lot more effort. Um, and it's a little, it's always, it's a bit more, it's out of everyone's comfort zone. Right. Um, but Rust was like that happy medium because you could go into it as much as you wanted, like lean into like RPing. And I found myself leaning into the RP, like, hi, Foosley's Fantastic Fireworks. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I was still Foosley, whatever. I was still myself, but like, I wanted to like have, I wanted a character and I wanted to have relationships with certain people and like establish that. And I, I think that that was something that was very GTA-esque or, or RP-esque. And then, uh, then, so RP, then it opened and we started and then the, the whole journey and then, yeah. And then I can't even, I mean, you guys have been along for that whole journey of like, of what April's journey was. And it started off very rocky and I didn't have a great like first, I mean, I, I had a good first couple of weeks, but I mean, well, no, I didn't remember even in the first week, I almost got bullied off of the server by the viewers and I learned how to deal with the viewer base and stuff, but, um. But after we kind of just got over that and kept playing, I don't regret coming back to it and, like, giving it a shot again and again. Um, but, yeah, I literally, like, yeah, that was rough. That was, like, a week after this. I think because it was w one week after this stream or a week and a half that we did a Polito for the first time with Kay and Rami and Ray, and which was one of the most exciting, exhilarating experiences, gaming experiences I've ever had. Just, like... Rock, that bank was so much fun and honestly I would still like to go back and watch that bank that was so fun 
Um, just such a crazy experience. Hiding in the bush for 30 minutes. I'll never forget that. I will never forget it, how exciting that was. Literally so fun. And when Rami and, like, Kay said it was also, like, one of the craziest banks they've done, that's when I was like, okay, it's not just because it was our first bank. It was just, like, it was also just, like, a really exhilarating, um, bank in general. I wish we could relive the first months of 3.0. I, I wasn't even there for the first three months, but I didn't, like, seeing the server just kind of go in waves, I really do wish I could go back and, like, I mean, I think, I, I mean, I try not to have too many regrets about this, but I do, like, wish I, how much I delved into 3.0 in the past couple months, I wish I got to play, or I played more in those times, but my anxiety about RP and GTA was too high. I just, the viewer base is brutal. Like, GTA fans are rabid and horrible. I'm not, they're just awful. Uh, chat hoppers are disastrous. Like, they are so, they're ho they're horrible. Just in general, it sucks. I mean, there's a good chunk that understand it, but like the loud, like there's a loud group of them. There's so many of them. Feeling in the moment.